Hello and welcome to Cadence Design Systems Fidelity Tutorial Tuesday where we show you how to use a feature or demonstrate the technique in just a few minutes. Today we're going to see how you can install and set up the Charles Connect app in order to interact with a running instance of the Fidelity Charles Solver. The Charles Connect app is a very useful tool for visualizing the geometry, the mesh, or the simulation results. So using this app you can interact with different tools from the Fidelity Charles suite. For example, you can interact with Surfer, which is a pre-processing tool that allows you to check the integrity of the geometry you are working with, it lets you manipulate zones and set up boundaries, as well as checking the orientation of your facets and a lot more. You can also use the app when working with Stitch to visualize your spacings and other mesh settings. You can also set up your refinement zones and ultimately view the final mesh. Lastly, a very important use case for the Charles Connect app would be to interact with the Fidelity Charles Solver. So you can use the app to post-process your results, set up images and probes, and basically interact with the solver while your simulation is running. A very important note to make here is that the Charles Connect app was originally designed for cases where you have the solver running on a remote cluster, but you would like to interact with the simulation that is currently running without having to save the entire solution to disk and transferring the data over to your local computer for post-processing. So the app enables the in-situ post-processing and visualization, which is greatly advantageous when dealing with complex large eddy simulations. Now, the Fidelity Charles and its tools require a Linux operating system to run. So in the first part of this video, I'm going to show you how to install the Connect app on a Linux machine. This way, you can install the app on the same machine where you're running Fidelity Charles. This is what we refer to as the local host option. Now, you can install the app on any other machine, whether another Linux or a Windows machine or even a Mac. So in the later part of this video, I will show you how to use the remote option. Okay, so we need to first head to the Cadence Online Support or CAS website. Just launch the web browser on your Linux machine and go to downloads.cadence.com. Here, you need to put in your credentials to log into COS. Once logged in, choose Linux under the operating systems. Now, if you have license for different products, you can filter the list of releases by typing Charles in the text box over here. I'm going to choose the latest release, which as of time of recording this video is the 2023.2 version. In the right panel, the first entry is the Charles Solver. We have the installation and setup of the Charles Solver covered in a separate video, which is linked in the description. So let's scroll down a bit, and here you see the Charles Connect application. You have two options here the Linux RPM, which is the Red Hat Package Manager format, or Linux Deb, which is tailored for the Debian distribution of Linux. I'm running this on a Red Hat operating system, so I will choose the Linux RPM version. Click on Download link in front of the media, and we have the RPM file downloaded and saved to our computer. I have a terminal open here and it's already in my downloads folder. Here you can see the RPM file that we just downloaded. Remember that to install RPM files, you typically need super user privilege. So make sure you have been granted sudo access. Otherwise, you need to ask the IT admin to install this app for you. Assuming you have sudo access, the command to install the app is very simple. Just enter sudo rpm dash i for install followed by the name of the rpm file we've just downloaded in this case the name starts with base underscore charles 23.2 press enter and wait for the rpm package to get installed once installed you should now have the shorthand command available to you in the terminal which is simply charles underscore connect Press Enter to launch the Connect app. Great. 
Let me open up a new terminal to launch a Fidel de Charles instance. I'm going to launch the Surfer tool, which allows me to pre-process the geometry. In this case, I have an SBIN file that I would like to import as a surface for visualization. Here is my Charles launch script, followed by surfer.executable. I now pass the inline option for importing a surface of type SBIN, followed by the name of the SBIN file. Finally, I will add the dash dash i option for keeping Surfer in the interactive mode after it imported the SBIN file. Okay, so now Surfer is waiting in the interactive mode. Let me bring up the Connect app. Since I'm running Charles on this same machine, the instance I'm looking for should show up under the localhost section. Let me refresh the list of instances, and there you go. I can now see the Surface instance that is running on this machine. I can click on the 3D app button to access this session. And there you have it. We are now interacting with our Surfer instance using the Charles Connect app. As I mentioned earlier, another way of using the Connect app is when you have the Fidelity Charles running on a Linux server, but you want to interact with the running instance from another machine let's say another Linux machine or maybe even from a Windows machine or a Mac. In this case, we're basically going to use the SSH protocol to connect to the remote instance. Let's first install the Connect app on a Windows machine. Once again, I open up the internet browser, go to downloads.cadence.com and log in using my credentials that allows me to access Cadence Online Support or COS. Once logged in, I will choose Windows under the operating systems and I will search for Charles product. Here you can see that we only have one option, which is the Charles Connect app. Again, remember that Fidelity Charles only runs on Linux, but you can install the Connect app on Linux, Windows, or Mac OS. Let me download the installer for the Connect app. I'm going to launch the installer and follow through the installation wizard. Finally, I can just launch the Charles Connect app. Okay, so here I'm going to show you the SSH option, which allows me to remotely connect to a Linux machine where Charles is actually running. From the top right corner, click on the Resources button. Here we can define multiple resources for various machines we have Charles instances running on. Let me click the plus sign to add a new resource. In the frame that opens up, I'm going to enter a nickname for this machine. Then we will enter the host name as well as the username and password. These will be basically the host name and the login credentials that you would use if you were to SSH to the remote machine. So once I enter this, this information, I can click Save. This new resource is now listed here for me. Let me now close the Resources section and we are back to the home screen. You can now see the new resource that we've just added in the list. Let me go back to the Linux machine and relaunch the Surfer tool. I'm just going to re-enter the last command which launches Surfer, imports the SBIN file, and keeps me in the interactive mode at the end. Let's go back to the Connect app I had opened on my Windows machine, and I'm going to refresh the list of instances. And there you go. It now shows that I've just launched a Surfer instance on the remote machine, and I can interact with the instance through the 3D app. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, be sure to click the thumbs up button to subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, please drop us a line down below or connect with us on LinkedIn, which is linked in the description. Thank you all and have a pleasant Tuesday.